What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan and in this video we're going to be doing another type of like a trade recap type account recap more so like a bulk of trades but not really that because um, I don't want to go over necessarily the trades uh, but I want to go over kind of like my trades from April as you can see that's the range here you can see the date up here. Um, why is it not moving? refresh the page for you guys there oh he's moving down here okay i was like i know some of them usually move uh but anyway so what i really want to do here is kind of just go over my trades from april and rather than like the usual type of video that i might make in terms of a recap saying um you know like something catchy like let's say you know we we turned three thousand dollars into you know fourteen thousand dollars in a matter of two weeks i don't know i'm just trying to you know role play here um i want to do it a little bit differently here and before I do it a little bit differently, I want to do a little disclaimer and kind of show, obviously, like the general disclaimer that we say, you know, this isn't financial advice and trading is risky. So please don't just just like blindly jump into this if you're completely new here. Um, but I want to give a little disclaimer that like winning all of your trades like this is not typical. I mean, like even even me, even any experienced trader or anybody like that, we there, there is losses in trading. I want to make sure like I'm not trying to. I guess like insinuate that you don't lose with trading. There are losses with trading. I, I guess that's the main point. I want to say don't focus on the fact that we don't have any losses here on this particular time frame. Um, what I really want you to mainly focus on instead of even the numbers, even the, the results and all that is just the amount of trades. So Based on that, I want to kind of highlight a few things. Number one, I want to highlight the fact that this is kind of like what I mean when I say discipline is key. You obviously like, I mean, that, that has so many different like variations and meanings behind it that it could be. It could be, uh, you know, don't just get emotional when you're in a trade. Don't just panic out when you shouldn't. Don't just start adding into things that you shouldn't, uh, you know, stick to your plan. But ultimately, it it's really be selective with your trades and don't enter unless you find like the best setups that align with your strategies and try and be the type of trader. I don't want to try and like tell people what to do, but you know, obviously if you're watching this, you're probably here looking for perspective. Try try and be the kind of trader that can tie multiple things into one and understand like the more that you can tie in the better. So almost even get to a point where it's like, okay, if even one of your strategies are lining up, you still won't take the trade unless like a few more things check out. That's kind of like the idea that I want to say here and be disciplined enough to kind of not get into the trade until it hits your area. So basically being really selective with your trade. Now I wanna give kind of like a, not a disclaimer, but like, I don't know, a disclaimer there that says, I know some trading strategies you can't necessarily plan for. Like for example, me, I, I normally would, like if it's a day trade, I would plan for my trade the night before. However, there are certain day trading strategies that you can't do that. Like I'm just going to like, for example, give an example, like a red to green move. You might not be able to plan for that the day before. So I don't want to make it sound like, okay, if you're out there just doing these types of trades that you're not doing well, um, the main thing is just mainly stick to your plan and don't enter until it's like a really good area. Try and tie multiple things into one and just really get into trades very selectively. Be selective is kind of like the whole point here. And really, that's what I wanted to highlight and to show that not only should you be selective with your trades, but also you don't need to trade a million different things to find success with the markets or to find success with trading. Um, I, I know I said don't look at like the numbers, but just for the sake of the example here, I mean, I only traded three times. And like, look at this number. You mean to tell me that even half of this isn't enough for you for, I mean, one month? I did it within like a two-week time frame, time span. I wanted to do recaps on each of the individual ones, but the way I see it is if I don't do it that day or maybe even the next day, then it kind of gets away from me and I'm like, all right, well, it's kind of like not relevant anymore. It's like, why would I post this trade recap from like last week type idea? Um, and then a new trade will come up and I do that and it's like, okay, I want to do this one. Uh, but I had been in and out of town, I guess like the first two weeks or I guess not the first two weeks, the last two weeks. So I didn't really have time because I was, you know, like you got to go, you got to check in. Then I had to go to another area, I had to meet with people and this and that. So I didn't really have time to sit down and make the trade recaps. And then I wanted to make this account recap for you guys at this point to say, you know, I have plenty of trade recaps. However, I want to kind of like highlight a new idea. And again, not like I said, don't focus on the fact that like they're all wins and all that. And I know some of them are like wild percentages, but again, just focus on how many trades. In one month, three trades. Now, I'm probably maybe going to do one or two more trades to wrap up the month. I'm not saying that, oh, I'm only trading three times this month and that's it. Um, but that's just the main point here is that 
I'm not trading every single day. I'm not trading multiple times a day. I guess it, it also depends on the market circumstances as well, because there are times where I would trade like way more actively than this, obviously. I mean, this is, this is like I said, because I've been in and out of town and also the kind of way the market environment that we've been in, kind of been waiting to see like what's going on with this, what's going on with that. We got the interest rates, we got these kind of economic reports. Then now we have earnings. So right now I've been kind of waiting for a couple of the main earnings to pass. And then at that point is when I'll kind of start getting back into more active trading. So again, you just kind of have to like, be selective, be disciplined. I guess that's really what it all comes back down to. So I didn't really want to get too carried away with this. Oh, I, I just, I, again, I have to remember to mention it. I'm glad I did now before I forget totally. Uh, we launched a new service and I want to let you guys know about it. It's the inner circle. It makes it easier for you guys to learn more about this and connect with us as a community. Um, you'll get access to all of our educational lessons and any updates that I put in the future as well. And you'll also get access to our bi-weekly live webinars where you're going to basically be able to come to a webinar and I mean, each one is going to be different. So you might have questions, someone else might have questions, but either way, you can ask questions, get them answered, see examples from me, keep up with me and my perspective on the markets and all that as well. And just basically join our community. So I wanted to put that idea out there before I forgot. I was supposed to mention it like in the middle of the video, but you guys know me, I'm kind of random here with it. Um, but just to kind of, kind of like summarize it all, that's, that's the main focus of everything here. It's not getting wild with trading. You could have fun with it and all this and all that, but you don't need to. And also you shouldn't focus on that because that's when you end up hurting yourself. You end up starting doing things that you shouldn't be doing. If you're not disciplined, you miss one trade and then you try and formulate another one and it ends up being like a snowball effect. So that's pretty much that. Um, We'll wrap it up here. I don't, I don't know. I forgot how to end these. Um, yeah, you know, hit the thumbs up, the subscribe, and all this and all that. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll catch you in the next one.